Welcome to a new LumaFusion tutorial. Today's video is about LumaFusion update 2.4 and the new Kia settings it brings with it. What we've got in this project is just a background clip, nothing special and not important at all to explain the Kia settings. And we've got a green screen object with a text in it. So we've got the green background color we want to hide and the text object we want to see. In order to start the Kia, it's everything like before. Go to the editing mode, color and FX, tap on the lock symbol. And now there are only two objects left. It's chroma key and luma key. And we will select chroma key in order to key away colors. Now the first thing you normally have to do is to select your color. But LumaFusion already has a yeah, um, I would say default settings, but they are not good at all. So we start from scratch by sliding the sliders all to the left and start from the beginning. So the first step is to select the color. You have three options to select your colors. What I would do is just simply lose, use this pipette and select the color you want to key away. And that's it. Now, like I've told you in previous projects, the first three sliders are the same we had already. So what we have to do is to slide them to the bars in the middle and that's most of the time all you have to do. As you can see, we have on the edges of the text some, some green pixels left. I would just increase the brightness range to, in, to delete those pixels and they're gone. Now what we've got is a object without the background but we still have very sharp edges and that's the point where the new settings are coming so we have erosion distance edge blur radius and spill suppression what erosion distance does it just cuts away pixels from the edge so it just reduces the size of your objects i can show it to you nothing beautiful and just a backup tool. I wouldn't use it at all, actually. Then what edge blur radius does, it blurs the edge of the object, but it blurs in both ways. So into the deleted background and into the objects. So we get a green shadow around the object, but the object itself is way smoother than before. This is very dangerous because with spill suppression, we can reduce the green shadow, but we get a very unsharp text right here. So be very careful with edge blur, maybe drag it just to one or so and you get a better result than before. And you don't have to use too much spill suppression and the text is still way more smooth than before, but still sharp. Then we also get the option to reverse the key may be useful sometimes and we can uh, show the mask to see all objects that are visible right now. This is the new Kia and its settings. I hope this video has helped you to improve your Kia settings in future. If do so, give this video a thumb up and please subscribe to my channel to don't miss any video in future. And we will see each other in the next video. Till then, bye.